Hello YouTube! I am going to give you a quick uh, demonstration on how to safety wire a double wrap on a turnbuckle. If you're new to the channel, my name is Bryce. I'm your favorite AMPIA and Part 147 instructor. I make a lot of videos on becoming an aircraft mechanic, how to be an aircraft mechanic, and some practical demonstrations like this since I do teach at a 147 school. So if that interests you, uh, like I said, this is just going to be a quick demonstration. I've made a video on, on this in the past. I'll link that at the end of this one. Uh, so make sure you watch it and stick around. First thing is first, I want to get set up here. I want to make sure that the turnbuckle is nice and tight. In the real world, on an actual airplane, you'd be able to manipulate these uh, these barrels a little bit easier. Actually, this is the barrel, but you'd be able to manipulate these a little bit easier to get all of these holes in line. I'm not able to do that here because the cable is so short. So what I'm going to do is take some 041. Now, I didn't do a good job in my last video of explaining that I was using 032 for demonstration purposes. If you actually look at the table in the 4313, which I'm going to put up here, uh, somewhere, um, it actually tells you that you should be using 041 for either a single wrap or a double wrap. You're obviously permitted to do both on a 1 8 cable, which this is. So I'm gonna take my 041 and I'm gonna put it through the turnbuckle barrel like this, and I'm gonna try to make it even in both hands so that I have an even amount with my first strand. Now, I'm also going to go ahead and take my second piece of 041 because I'm gonna be showing you a double wrap method. It's just a single wrap method twice and I'm gonna put the 041 through on the other side. I'm sorry for that the safety wire is knocking into the camera. I can't really avoid that. So let me get this fed through here like this. Okay. So now that I've got the safety wire through the turnbuckle, um, I want to call to attention a couple of small details. One, you'll notice I've got the barrel as centered as possible and equal lengths on both sides. When you first put it together, if you thread the barrel way down on one side and then put the other side in and start to thread, it's going to be off. So you want to try to thread it as evenly as possible. If you can start it on both threads at the same time, great. If not, maybe only put one or two on one side and then get the whole thing started so that this is nice and even. I'm not going to have a lot of extra room doing the double wrap method, so everything's going to be kind of tight and I'm going to be doing it to the minimums. So first of all, this is my one piece of wire and this is the other piece of wire. I can see it moving down in this hole as I do this. And I'm going to take this piece of wire right here first and I'm going to bend it as, as sort of as straight as I can and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to bend it the opposite way. Now. These wires need to go through these holes on opposite sides, and then you need to keep track of which way you're wrapping each wire. So I'm gonna start with this one here, and I will fish it back through here. Safety wire pliers are not going to do you a lot of good on this. However, duck bills and or just a set of slip joint pliers most certainly will. I'm gonna try to pull this as tight as I can. I'm gonna do the other side and try to pull it as tight as I can. Sorry, I know the, the safety wire is, is hitting the tripod. I'm not doing that on purpose. It is what it is. Be careful not to let your wire kink. I almost kinked it right there, um, but I caught it in time, so it's okay. And I did use an extra long piece of wire. Um, you would probably want to use a shorter piece of wire for this, but that's, again, that's okay. So now I've got this first wire through top and bottom. This wire is going to come the opposite way. So I'll start by doing it in this one. And once I do this, it won't knock into the turnbuckle anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to come up with this side. I'm going to get this side started so that it will quit knocking into the camera for as much as I can. Okay. And then I'm going to grab this one and I'll pull this one down as well. Again, making sure it doesn't kink. I'll push it flat with my fingers as much as I can. And then grab this one over here. Trying to keep all this straight in my head. 041 is obviously very thick and a lot to work with, which is why we have pliers. But get your fingers in there, manipulate it as best you can with your fingers. If you need to take your duckbill pliers and give it a little you know, squeeze here and there, it's not gonna hurt anything. It'll just help make it nice and neat and pretty. So now here is where it gets interesting. You need to keep track of which wire is which wire because when I take this one, which is the one I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna go just inside the barrel and I'm going to wrap it four times in this direction. I want to take the one on the bottom and I want to come around and I want to wrap it four times 
in the opposite direction. But why that's important is because these two need to be opposite of this one. So if this one is wrapping counterclockwise, then this one that's on the outside needs to wrap counterclockwise. If this one's wrapping counterclockwise, then this one needs to wrap clockwise. And you need to do the best you can to keep track of that. So this one right here on the top is this one right here on the bottom is this one and this one. So these two are going to spin opposite of one another. I'm gonna start by going counterclockwise with this one and clockwise with this one. Then I will go clockwise with this one and counterclockwise with this one. I know that's a lot of rotations left, right? It's keep it away from you, keep it towards you, whatever you wanna do. Now, to help me with this, I'm going to push this one nice and snug in there. And I'm actually going to manipulate this wire by holding it. Let me scoot you back for just a second by holding it with the duckbill pliers. Now this is gonna be a lot more difficult in a aircraft. Now I also wanna take the wire that's on the bottom and I want it to wrap over all of them. Like I said, this is gonna be a lot more difficult on an aircraft because you're gonna be doing this inside of a panel. Let me just squeeze it down here real quick. I will take it and I'm gonna start my first wrap. That went very nicely. I'm gonna to try to wrap it right on top of itself. One two, three, and four. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna take this one, like I said, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna clamp it with the duckbill pliers so that it doesn't move too much. And I'm gonna come this way with it. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, and four. All right, this side is just about done. I'm gonna go do ahead and do one more. I'll make five, because why not? I'm gonna cut this off. I'll explain why I'm doing it in just this way in just a second. And I'm gonna cut this one off right here. Okay, so this side is done. So now, like I said, the one that was on the bottom came out the top and wrapped counterclockwise. That was the one on the bottom. So that means the one on the top, which is this one that's coming out on the bottom, needs to be on the far side. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one and mash it down. I'll mash this one over, grab all of this with my duckbill pliers and sort of bend it. Now this one went away from me. This one needs to come over the top to me. So I'm gonna take this guy, I'll force it under here again. I will bite it with the duckbill pliers to help get that rotation started. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, and four. Beautiful. I'll do one more, because why not? Aha! Four. All right, we love this. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off so that it's out of my way. Okay. And then I will take this guy right here. If this one wrapped towards me, this one needs to wrap away from me. Again, I'm going to take my duckbill pliers, grab it, bend it over, and go one, two, three, four. I'll go ahead and do one extra to grow on because why not? There we go. All right. And that is that done. So I'm going to go ahead and take the take you off the pie tri tripod and I'm going to show you a little bit of this a little bit. So here you go. I'm going to take my duckbill pliers here in just a second and I'm going to smash all of these down. So all I'll do is basically bite the, uh, the curve and go like that with it so that it's smashed down. I'll do the same thing with this one. I'll bite it and sort of go in the regular curve. Again, this is gonna be a lot harder on a certified aircraft, but there you go, that's that. Four turns per each, making sure that the turns are wrapping over all of the cables on the barrel. Now, I have seen this on a certified airplane. There is no need to do it. The 4313 says to wrap it four times, maybe go five just so that you ensure there are four wraps over the wire. I have seen people put like 30 wraps over the end of a wire with 041. There is no need to put more than four or five wraps. All the safety wire is doing is keeping the turnbuckle from moving. And you do need to use 041, so I'm not really worried about it breaking. Don't go crazy wrapping this all the way down the barrel. You're just making more work for yourself. So there you go, everybody. That's about going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next video, it's going to be the last video I'll make on safety wire for a while, I promise. People always ask me how to use the sort of spiral method, which I've done in the past. So I'm going to make that video right now, or I should say I'm going to film that video right now. I will show you how to do a double wrap spiral method 
it's actually really easy just the way the 4213 depicts it is kind of weird so uh, make sure you stick around next week for that one as always I ask that you leave me a comment like subscribe all of that good stuff and as always go build something and be easy